everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. So you will be glad to know that today I am filming another what I eat in a day video. I haven't done one of these in ages and you guys have been asking for them as usual. So thank you for being so enthusiastic and wanting more um, what I eat in a day is because you guys know how much I enjoy filming these. The reason why I haven't filmed one of these videos in such a long time is because I've been self-isolating for I think it's three weeks now and I've just felt like I haven't really been eating anything very exciting. And today is actually Easter, um, the day that I'm filming this, so happy Easter if you do celebrate it. But I think this year is going to be the first year that I don't have an Easter egg to eat on Easter. Like I say, my dad's been the one that's been going out to do the food shop in our house because he's the only one that's leaving the house to go to work anyways. The rest of us are self-isolating. My mum did keep reminding him to get Easter eggs for us when he was doing the food shop, but he has forgotten. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling now. I just wanted to say I hope you're all keeping safe and keeping well and I'm sending love to every single one of you. So I'm going to go get some breakfast. I hope you enjoy the video and let's just get into it. So you guys know that I absolutely love to have scrambled eggs on toast for my breakfast and that's what I have most days. But recently I've been making poached eggs on toast, but I'm not gonna lie, they look awful. Like I haven't mastered it yet. So I'm just gonna stick to what I usually do. I'm gonna make that for my breakfast today. It's gonna look horrible and I'm gonna have to film it. But I wanna try and make these videos as realistic as I can. And yeah, the food I make isn't that great. and It's not very presentable, but it is what I eat. Today must be my lucky day because they couldn't have turned out better. Like I've never made poached eggs that have looked this good. I mean, they're still not professional, but if you'd seen my previous attempts um, over the last few days, then you would realize that this is a massive improvement. I don't think that looks too bad. I'm actually really happy with that. And at least I'm having some form of egg on um, Easter. That's not a bad attempt for me anyways. And I've also got some summer fruits diluting juice as well. So I've just been sat in my room editing for the last like three and a bit hours um, but I'm now about to have lunch. So today is Sunday and during quarantine we've sort of like had a little tradition that on a Sunday dad makes us bacon rolls for lunch so that's what I'm going to be having and it's such a treat because I don't normally ever really eat bacon unless I'm at my boyfriend's. Um, but yeah, it's been nice because I don't normally get to spend Sundays at home because I normally work every single Sunday um, in my retail job. So definitely being at home at the weekends with my family is something that I've really, really missed. So it's nice for me to be able to actually enjoy our little traditions again um, of like having bacon rolls on a Sunday and playing board games on a Sunday. It's really the little things um, that mean the most. So I just finished eating my two bacon rolls for lunch, which was absolutely delicious. I never have sauce on mine just because I'm that weird person who doesn't like any sauce. I just like very plain foods. But anyways, I'm now going to treat myself to one of these breakfast bars. We got these the other day. Um, I had a double chocolate one yesterday, so I'm going to try this one. This is the Alpine Light Chocolate and Fudge Breakfast Bars. That looks really delicious. Oh my gosh. You can really smell the fudge in it. Mmm, that is good. I love the texture of these bars because they're so chewy. So you guys know me, I am a snacker. And especially when I'm having a day like this where I'm literally just sitting and editing. If I don't have a snack beside me whilst I'm editing, then nothing is getting done because I need food to, you know, give me that motivation to power me through. So I have got something that I haven't had in a long time. Harry Bows! And it's a blooming massive bag of it as well, so I couldn't be happier right now. I've only just realised that it's actually the happy world of Harry Bow. In the advert, I always thought it was having fun with Harry Bows. <laughs> also, guys, look how cute my nails are. I put some fake nails on yesterday and I'm obsessed. I don't know why, but every time I open these, I just have to smell inside the bag. I think it's because it's just like the best smell. Um, my favourite, just in case you're wondering, are these fried eggs. They're so good. In primary school, I used to have competitions with my friends 
where we would all put on one of these rings and we would see who could leave it on their finger the longest and not be tempted to eat it and you won't be surprised to know that I lost every single time because that is temptation right there just having a sweet sat there all day and you can't eat it so I would last about five seconds and then just eat it so an update on the easter egg situation my dad has gone to Tesco because my mum feels really bad that this would be the first year that we don't have easter eggs even though we're all grown up she still likes to buy us an easter egg every year so dad's gone to get the food shop anyways and mum was like make sure you get easter eggs if there's any left so fingers crossed he comes back with an easter egg and that's what i'll be having later on if he does i hope so also don't worry i'm gonna leave some of these for laura because i know she loves them as well and she wanted some i'm stopping eating these because if not i'm gonna finish the whole thing and i know how much Laura wanted some. I mean, I did leave her quite a bit, definitely not half, like I said I would, so now I feel bad. <laughs> so it's now dinner time, although I'm feeling not that hungry because I ate so many Harry Boss. <laughs> Laura, did you finish the rest of them? Did you not? Oh, they hurt your teeth. Did you? No. Oh yeah, mum got me, well dad got an Easter egg from Tesco from dad and mum for me, so I'll eat that later. Thank you so much mum. Oh, you're welcome. So it wasn't me, right? No, I'm so, so happy with it. Brand. Every year my mum still gets me one. Until what age, mum? Up until you have kids yourself. Oh, okay. I'm not having kids for did, like ma, 10 did years. Did Michael get an egg? No, he hasn't oh. had an egg in the Egg in um, oh. years and years. That's why I wanted to get him one, but I can't. Because oh. of self-isolation. But anyways. This is what I'm having for dinner. Oh, beans, thank sorry. you, Mum. I do love these. Oh, We've got. <laughs> nah, I will be once I start eating. Is it chicken pie, Mum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken pie, peas, and tatties. And of course, diluting juice as always. So I'm now all cozy. I've taken my makeup off. I've got my pajamas on. I'm just back from walking my dogs with my mum and my sister. Um, so it's now quarter past ten. Honestly, I have no idea where the day has gone. I swear every day is getting faster. But it is now time to eat my Easter egg. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I've said this a billion times, but I will say it again. Nothing beats an Easter egg. I know it's just like Cadbury chocolate, but I swear it tastes like 10 times better than if you were to just have a Cadbury's chocolate bar. So my parents got me this giant dairy milk fingers Easter egg which I am so, so happy about because these, oh my gosh, they're incredible. And like I say, nothing beats dairy milk. You can't go wrong with Cadbury, can you? So let's open this bad boy, if I can, with fake nails. Everything is a million times harder with fake nails. I just don't know how people do it. Ooh, oh, you actually get quite a lot in there. You get three mini bags of the chocolate fingers. Oh my gosh, exciting. I will have those tomorrow. And now, for the main guy himself. <laughs> oh, you beauty. I think I'm gonna take this downstairs to eat. I don't know why I'm throwing this around like a rugby ball. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take it downstairs to eat because I don't really eat in my bed unless it's something like Harry Bros that if you drop it's okay. But if you drop chocolate, it melts. It just you know, I just don't like things like that in my bed. I'm a bit funny like that. Like I wouldn't ever eat something like toast in my bed because I would hate to have crumbs in my bed. <laughs> so my rules are only eat things like Harry Bros. If you drop it, you can literally just pick it up and there's no mess. Can you guys tell I'm happy? <laughs> I honestly say this a lot but I mean it genuinely chocolate is the way to my heart you know some girls want fancy expensive jewelry me just give me a chocolate bar or a mcdonald's and i'm happy i hate when it's not pre-cut because i literally am going to make the worst job of this okay yeah that's a fail already but i only want to eat half of it tonight because chocolate is sacred when you're in lockdown so I don't know when I'll get chocolate next, so I need to save some of it. Oh my gosh. How on earth do you cut an Easter egg? I literally cannot do it. So I'm in heaven, eating my very badly cut Easter egg. Now it feels like Easter. 
finally so that brings today's video to an end i really hope you guys enjoyed watching it let me know what easter eggs you got this year please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys again very very soon thanks for watching bye